There. Now, that should keep you two out of my hair. Mom! 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 N not now, honey. It's important the house be clean with the whole family coming over, don't you know? <laughs> Mom! 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 <laughs> Mom, Mommy, Mom! What is it, Bobby? There's nothing to do. Oh, light bulb! You've got something to do now. Look after the twins for me while I finish fixing up the house. Ooh. Yeah, you'll have fun. You'll get to spend some quality time with your brothers. I don't want to spend time with them. I don't like them. <laughs> Well, hon, that's because you haven't spent much time with them. But, Mom! This'll be your chance to get to know each other. Once you get to know somebody, it's a whole lot easier to like them, don't you know? I know I'm not gonna like you, no matter what Mom says. I heard that, Bobby! You keep the twins quiet there now. You're gonna be in trouble if I hear any more commotion from down there, Mr. Manzi. If you're, if, you're, if you're scared because you don't think I can take care of you, uh, let me let me tell you a little story about me and responsibility. It was it was this time when I had to take care of Harry the hamster. Look, here's a picture of us. Look, Leonard, is that nice, Bobby generic? That's generic. Oh, come in, Bobby, come in. What can I get you, dear? Cookies? Candies? Kibble? No, thank you, Mrs. Harry's mother. Uh, you, 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 ha you haven't seen Harry by any chance, have you? Because I, uh, I think he might be lost. Lost? He was supposed to be with you. Oh! We trusted you to be sponsible! Oh. Our son is lost, and we blame you! 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 After that, I never lost another hamster. So do you feel better now about me being able to take care of you? Bobby! What's going on down there? Nothing! Something else. How about cartoons? Good. Good. You like cartoons. Guess we do have something in common. Oh, wait. I'll draw you a cartoon.
Those are great cartoons, weren't they? Hey, I think we're getting along pretty well. <laughs> Bobby? Jake, shh! Gonna get me in trouble. This is pretty corny, but sometimes a kid's gotta do what a kid's gotta do. Jake, there's no reason for you to be unhappy. Don't you know that you're special? <laughs> I am me, you are you. I must be special, cause you can be me too. Oh, that's the beauty of both of us. There's only one Bobby. And only one Gus. Gus. And they're not like any one of us. If you was me, and I was you, we still be sharing. Except maybe him. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you guys get me in trouble with mom, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be mad, and, and and you won't like me when I'm mad. Threats don't work with my brothers. We do have a lot in common. Bobby, for Christ's sakes, give the twins a snack. Your applesauce is on the end table. Boy, you guys are just like me. It reminds me of the time Uncle Ted tried to give me medicine. I want a real story, like a, like a fairy tale. Oh, uh, let's see, a fairy tale, huh? Um, uh, all right, uh, let's see, uh, okay, uh... Once upon a time, a really long time ago, there was a little boy named Jack Beanstalker. Wait a minute, couldn't Jack be me? Uh, sh yeah, why not? Sure, Bobby Beanstalker. Anyway, Bobby Beanstalker lived alone with his mother, Grundoon. Ah, oh, honey, <laughs> this is your favorite. This is the Twix soup. Hey, couldn't Grundoon be mom? Sure, sure, no problem. Your favorite. Here now, then, yet. Twig soup, don't you know? Thanks. It looks delicious. Oh, for corn's sake, Bobby Beanstalker. If we go on like this, we'll gee golly starve. Now, when you finish supper, I want you to take Roger Cow to market, sell him for as much as you can, and make sure you bring back enough food to last the winter. Mm -hmm. So, Bobby Beanstalker traded his cow for a handful of beans, and his mother got really angry and threw the beans out the window. Then she took Bobby Beanstalker to a therapist, and they lived happily ever after the end. Okay, bottoms up, Bobbo. What about the part where Bobby Beanstalker gets lost in the woods on the way to the market? Uh, 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 so you don't like fairy tales? How about science fiction? These are the voyages of the Starship Booby Prize. Captain 
Bobby. Like, someone is giving me a lot of static. Put it on the view screen. I am Sap, leader of the static Klingons. <laughs> we are beaming aboard, Captain Bobby. You are our prisoner. Escape is impossible. We have you in our tractor beam. He's right, Captain. We are being held in a tractor beam. On screen. <laughs> I am Zap. <laughs> Will you get off me and put out the softener? <laughs> you will tell me what you're doing in this sector? That's for me to find out and you to know. <laughs> you will answer my question! <laughs> I did it. Okay, hon. It's time for their babas, is all. Hold these a sec. <laughs> you are my best little helper, is all. Moms are great. Especially our mom. Let me tell you about her. Because moms are tough! We give our whole heart and self to raising our kids with love, no matter what. And there's a lot of no matter what. Like getting up in the middle of the night when you're dog tired and your kid's throwing up because he ain't a whole lot of junk you told him not to eat in the first place. Or when you're cleaning up some goo that moments ago was your best tuna casserole. Just remember, good moms never fade away. They just work their fingers to the bone. You want to hear more about the family? <laughs> That's pretty neat, too. He took me to work with him once. See? Now, Bobby, you just sit here quietly. Here are some pens and paper, and you can draw a nice picture, okay? And I'll be back real soon. Sure, Dad. Don't worry about me. I'm your spinning image. <laughs> Crayons. Buttons! Yes. Yes, hello, is anybody there? Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Hello. Security. Hello. Hello there. Is there anybody there? Yes. Hello. Hello, I can hear you. Ah, fish don't stay. Underwater at this dog's day. Cha cha cha. Yes! Boy, did I get in trouble. Hey, if you're ever in trouble and I'm not here to help you, Captain Squash is okay for a pretend guy. But you know who's really tough? That Ruth. Aunt Ruth! He's trying to get your purse! Well, trying isn't getting, is it? She was a wrestler. <laughs> yep, Aunt Ruth's really tough. But for fun, there's nobody like Uncle Ted. You're gonna really like him when you get older. He'll do anything. He'll even dress up like a woman. I'll get it. Hey, hey, hey time for noogie, uh, uh, noogies. How our Uncle Ted can make bubbles without putting his head in the water. Oh, Uncle Ted. Oh, how come you can make bubbles without, without putting your face in the water? <laughs> Tell you what, Bubble, let's just keep that our little secret, okay? <laughs> Spending time with you guys is starting to be fun. Let me see, what else can I 
can I tell you about? Well, here's something. Yeah. If you ever get locked out, it's important to have a plan. When you come home and you're all alone and there's no one to take care of you, if you already knocked and the door is locked, then here's what you should do. Where you can go. It's good to have a plan. Maybe a neighbor that you know. You really need a plan. But if you don't get there on foot, it's best to have a plan. You better just stay put. If you're prepared, know your phone number and address. You won't be scared. Because if you find yourself in a mess, you'll be glad. You can bet. You have. You'll never forget. A plan. Yeah. You gotta have a plan. <laughs> about having a plan. Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to play America's number one most favorite game, hide and seek. It starts when you say, you're it! <laughs> The Fugitive, Dr. Bobby Kendall, is forced to live life a hunted man. Okay, I want a hard target search of every old place, nice place, and hiding place in the area. Bobby the Fugitive. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right. Ready or not, here I come. Well, you can walk to play hide and seek. You also have to be able to talk to say, you're it. Hmm. But we can have an adventure together. Follow me. So, don't you know? Don't you hate it when parents say, told you so, and they're right? 